Hey guys, welcome back. The past week hasn't been particularly good on any of us. The news of explosions in Beirut, then fires in UK, and my viewers in Kerala are at a very tough place now. We had the news of landslide in the morning before having enough time to process that information. We were hit with another tragedy. The aeroplane crashing in the Karipur airport. And now many of them are facing the threat of flood. Among all this chaos, I feel that COVID-19 has become like a background noise. What I mean by this video is to remind people that COVID-19 is still a threat. It's still a pandemic and we need to take necessary precautions. In this video, I will be mainly focusing on the problems associated with using hand sanitizers. So, let's get this started. I don't think I will have to talk about how coronavirus is killed by soap and alcohol because you already know it. I'll be talking about the problems mainly. So, when choosing a sanitizer, what should you keep in mind? There are different types of hand sanitizers. There are alcohol based ones and then there are antibiotic based ones. You should choose an alcohol based hand sanitizer to fight off covid. And there is a catch. Any alcohol based hand sanitizer won't work. The concentration should be around 60 to 80 or 90% alcohol. Why is it that if the concentration goes below 60, it won't be effective in killing the virus. And as the concentration moves higher up and up like 90 95 it becomes it evaporates fast and not enough time is there to kill the virus to destroy the envelope so it's better to buy a sanitizer which is in the range of 70 to 80% alcohol and these sanitizers are not just alcohol alone they have thickeners added to it then fragrances and color added to it so what do they do to attain this the fragrance and color they add chemicals into it some of them add harsh chemicals to achieve this goal of having an aroma or a color so these chemicals can be hard on your skin and it can cause deleterious effects in the long run so it is better to buy a hand sanitizer which doesn't have much color or scent like i told earlier there are antibiotic based and alcohol based sanitizers now as you all know hand sanitizer is a product in very high demand so what some companies are doing they are pushing their products by saying that it has antibiotics in it even though they are alcohol based products the companies are adding antibiotics into it to make it special and to make people choose that so is there some benefit or is it deleterious the antibiotics that are most commonly used in these sanitizers are triclo carbon or triclosan these antibiotics increase the chance of asthma in the people who are using it infertility and fetal abnormalities if a pregnant lady was using it and on top of all this this increase the chances of creating antibiotic resistant bacteria so my request to you all is to check the label before buying a sanitizer and if it has triclocarbon or triclosan written on it please don't buy it and on top of all these problems that i have told there are a lot of fake products coming into the market two days back i happened to come across this news four people in us died from methanol poisoning by drinking hand sanitizers and some six were blinded So what's happening now is that many local manufacturers are adding methanol into it. Instead of isopropyl alcohol or ethyl alcohol, they are adding methanol also into it. Nothing will happen if one or two drops of methanol goes into your system. But if someone accidentally drinks that, then it's going to be lethal. And who is to say that these products are having the stipulated amount of alcohol concentration in it that is 70% or 60% you can't be sure of that because many local brands are coming many local products are coming we can't be sure 
So it is better to buy the product from a reputed manufacturer, the one you believe. Avoid buying products from brands that you don't know much of and check whether the ones you are buying are not duplicates. Now I will tell you when to use sanitizer and when to use soap. There is only one use for sanitizer. If you are traveling, if you are not able to go to a sink to wash your hands, that's the only time you should be using sanitizers. And why is it like that? Let me tell you this. If your hand is greasy or soiled, then sanitizers can't work at all. So if you are eating some oily food and after that you are touching surfaces and you are sanitizing, it won't work. If your hand is particularly oily, it won't work. If you are walking on your motorcycle or your car and your hand is greasy and you are using sanitizer, it won't work. If you are walking on your garden and your hand is full of soil, like, then also sanitizer won't work. All this time, you should use soap and water to clean your hands. So if you are a person who is using chemicals, who is working with a lot of chemicals, like a person who is cleaning the surfaces, who are using harsh chemicals to clean the surfaces, then it's better to use soap. Because the soap and water will wash away the harmful chemicals, but hand sanitizer won't do any of that. So use soap. And when you use hand sanitizer, let it air dry. And if your hands are wet or very sweaty, then hand sanitizer can't work because this sweat and water will dilute the concentration of the hand sanitizer and it will go below 60 or it will go below 40 and all and it can't kill all the coronaviruses. So if your hand is particularly wet or sweaty, then don't use hand sanitizer. And I had been seeing this, like people put the hand sanitizer, then they rub it and then they suddenly go and wash it off. Never do that. Never ever do that. When you use hand sanitizer, allow it to air dry. Then only the coronaviruses will be killed. And excessive use of these hand sanitizers are prone to cause eczema. Alcohol dries your skin and it leads to cracking, itching and so on and so forth. So if you are a guy who can't avoid using sanitizer over and over again, like you are a guy who is walking outside or something like that, then use a moisturizer after you use the sanitizer. So keep your hand moisturized, then you won't be having this problem of skin cracking and itching in the future. How to use sanitizers? The usage depends on the product you are using. Let me tell you. So I have this sterilium here and the Dettol one here. So there are instructions behind both of that. So in this sterilium one, it said that rub sterilium approximately 3 ml well over clean dry hands and nail grooves for 30 seconds. So it's said 3 ml. And in this, it said that take a thumbnail size drop on your palm and rub your hands briskly until dry. So the quantity that you have to use will be stipulated on the back of the product that you are using. So give that a read and take sufficient quantity. And when you are using the hand sanitizer, rub it on your palms, on the behind of your hands, then the knuckles in between your fingers and try to make it reach every crack and crevice in your hand. Now you will have this doubt. What should I use? What I would like to tell you is that use soap whenever you can. So now you will have this doubt, which soap should I use? Any soap that you have with you at the moment, whichever soap you have it in your bathroom, that's a soap that you should use. It doesn't matter which brand, which company, nothing matters. All you need is soap. And one more thing, always keep sanitizers out of the reach of your children. Because some sanitizers are very colorful and it smells good, so they might drink it. So keep it out of the reach of your children and COVID-19 is not over yet. Wash your hands, maintain physical distance and keep a mask, sanitizer and soaps in your emergency kit. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up and share it with everyone who needs to know this. And subscribe to my channel and ring that notification bell if you want to see such content in the future. Bye, till we meet again.